Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm going to cook chicken rizala for you. It is an authentic Bengali dish. Uh, I say it is authentic, but its roots are linked to the Mughal era. It is basically a chicken that is cooked in white gravy. And um, let's have a look at the ingredients that we need. So this is chicken that is washed, cleaned. It's one kg. Um, we have taken one onion. We have made a paste out of it. Two tablespoons of poppy seeds or khaskhas. Around 15 cashew nuts. We have mixed them and ground it into a paste. That is this. Ginger garlic and chili paste around one tablespoon. Three tablespoon of shudh ghee or you can use clarified butter. One cup of yogurt or dahi. Uh, for the garam masala, the whole garam masala, we have two bay leaves, some peppercorns around 10, 15, a cinnamon stick, one badi elaichi, around four green, small elaichi, that's green cardamom, two cloves, salt and sugar to taste, one tablespoon of jeera powder, one tablespoon of dhania powder, and one tablespoon of garam masala powder. So this is, these are our ingredients, pretty basic ingredients, easily available at home, especially during such times. So let's get started. So first we start with marinating our chicken. We'll add the ginger garlic chili paste. Some salt and we can give it a good mix so that each and every chicken piece is nicely coated. So it's nicely coated, nicely marinated and we will keep this aside for one hour. We'll give it a good, nice time for marination. Okay, so now we are back after an hour of, we've kept that for marination. So let's start with preparing the chicken gravy. So we've taken a karai. I'm going to add in the ghee. If you feel it's too much of ghee, you can add half and half ghee and oil, whatever suits your platter. Once the ghee heats up, we will add in all our garam masala, the whole garam masala. Let's give it a stir. Once you start getting the aroma of the garam masala, Let's put in our chicken.
you cover it with the lid and let it get fried in the ghee. So for the last two minutes, it was on, it was kept on high to medium, somewhere in between that. And now we'll add in our onion paste. Our cashew nut and poppy paste. We'll give it a good stir. Now we'll add in the jeera powder, dhania powder and the garam masala. As you can see, it's a very easy recipe. It doesn't require you to keep standing and waiting. And uh, Since I added some salt during marination, I'm going to add a little more now. Maybe a one teaspoon and again let's mix it up So we have to check uh, the gravy after 10 minutes and I added a cup of water because my chicken hasn't cooked yet because my chicken hasn't cooked yet so I need some more time for it to get cooked so let's add the lid Let's cover it with the lid and leave it on medium for another. So after 20 minutes of keeping it on low, our chicken has cooked. So has our gravy thickened up. Uh, it smells really nice. So we can switch off the flame. And chicken hazala is ready. We can let's serve it. That's our chicken rizala. Uh, we can garnish it with some green chilies like this. Uh, this can be eaten with steamed rice or rotis. It tastes amazing with both. Do uh, try this recipe and tag me along. If you liked my video, please like it. And do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting, fast, quick recipes and do share it with your friends. See you in our next episode. Till then, bye.